All right, thanks everyone for joining us. We'll get started this afternoon with Dylan James. Please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. Start with Ansar Khan. Yeah, Dylan, uh, just, um, just your reaction when you found out uh, that the Red Wings had selected you and uh, you weren't at the draft, right? So where, where were you when you found out? Yeah, um, I was just back at home in Calgary. Um, I, was, I was watching the feed on TV with my family. Uh, a couple of aunts, a couple of uncles came over. Um, my, my feed was actually a little delayed. So, uh, I, I saw the person before me's clips going out. Um, and then I heard my name called and I, also, I, I didn't know what team was up next. So I didn't know who drafted me, but I heard my name. Um, and then like 20 seconds later, I found out it was the Red Wings. So, um, obviously that was an exciting, uh, time with my family, but yeah, that, that, that's what I was doing. What do you know about the organization? Any, any ties to it? Uh, any uh, prospects or anybody that you know in the organization? Uh, no, no ties. I kind of knew Marco at the combine there before, before the draft. Um, I know they got 11 cops, so that's sweet. Um, but yeah. Let's talk a little about your game, your style of play. Uh, look like you had, uh, you really, uh, accelerated things the second half of the season when your game kind of picked up even more. Yeah. Uh, I just say like a two way forward. Um, I, I like to pride my defense on my offense come from that. So. I'm usually on the defensive side of the puck whenever I can be. Um, I feel like my speed is my is my best asset. I use it to forecheck and you know limit the the D's time and space. Um, so I love, I love doing that. But um, yeah. Thanks, Daniela Bruce. Just kind of follow up on that. We got to talk to Chris Draper a little bit about yeah. you, and he said that when he watched you, it seemed like every time you scored a goal, it was a big goal. It was a game tying yeah. goal or a game winning goal. Can you talk about your ability to kind of step up in those moments? Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't really know why I score in those times. I feel like I'm, I don't, I don't I honestly don't know. It seems to, I seem to score in those, in those moments. Um, I couldn't tell you why, but. Well, it's a good thing. Let's put it yeah. that way. <laughs> no. Yeah, it just works out. Uh, did you expect to get drafted by Detroit, or what was your reaction when you found out it was the Red Wings? Um, I, I didn't expect. Um, you know, there obviously there's a there's a bunch of teams I was really talking to. Um, obviously, I'm pumped to be with Detroit. Uh, once I found out, I was, I was pretty stoked. Um, but it, honestly, I, it, going to the draft, it, it could have been any team in my mind. So. And then this week, what are you just hoping to take away from development camp? Uh, just just obviously meet the other prospects. Uh, kind of get comfortable here. Um, you know, we, we've had so many like presentations about how to eat healthy, how to prepare your body. So that, that's, that's pretty interesting. And then, and then on the ice, like the skating coach is teaching me stuff that I, I didn't know coming in here. So um, all, good, all good stuff. Thank you and welcome. Thanks. Jonathan Mills. What's kind of been the biggest uh, learning lessons you've had throughout the development camp this week? Um, I'd say my, like the, the skating coach, like coming in, I thought I was a pretty good skater. Like I said, that was my, my biggest asset. And you know, he's kind of critiquing it and, and whatnot. So I, I don't know. I'd, I'd say I, I'm going to come out with some some tips on how to skate a little better. How have the kind of on and off ice relationships been for you? Have you been able to make a lot of friendships kind of early on here? Or what's that been like working with all these different players from really across the across the world? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's been awesome. Uh, I'm rooting with Marco. So he has a little language barrier or not, but it's it's fun. It's fun hanging out with him. Um, no, like everyone here is a good person. I, I really like that. Um, coach, stat, like coaches and staff, and you know everyone's a really good person. So it's awesome. Appreciate it, Carly Johnston. Kind of piggybacking off of that question, we're talking about uh, a lot of the staff here. We have Nicholas Cromwell, Chris Draper, Steve Eiserman, who are helping you and who drafted you. What's it like seeing some of those hockey greats invest in your future? Crazy. Um, you know, once I heard I got dropped by the Troy, first thing that came to mind was Stevie Y. Um, and obviously I met Cron while here. He's he's giving me some tips on the ice, telling me to, you know, relax and just, just play. So it's nice to hear it from them. Thank you. Jennifer Hammond. When you think about your future, obviously being at a development camp, it's educational. It is so early in the process. How How is it, how do you balance the NHL dream with kind of being here and, and wearing the winged wheel and, and starting to get comfortable with it, but knowing that there's still such a long process and, and so much work ahead. Yeah, obviously you get drafted. It's pretty exciting, exciting moment, but you also got to realize there's a lot of people that got drafted three years before you. They're also trying to make the team too. So um, I'd say just, just work a little harder or keep working how hard you're working. Um, 
obviously enjoy the moment while you're here, but you got to realize a lot of other people trying to make the team. So, what do you think sets your game apart from others on the ice, from other prospects, or even just your attitude as well, and, yeah. and how you how you play, the kind of person you are on the ice? Um, I got to see my skating, like just just like pressure in the D, man. I feel like that's pretty hard to come by. Um, being reliable in the D zone and in any situation is pretty pretty valuable too. So uh, I'd say that. Answer, Khan. Yeah, uh, just uh, winning the, uh, the championship there, that run. Just what, what was that like? And what, what did that do for your just your confidence in your game? Yeah, um, that was an unreal experience. Um, we made a couple of trades before before playoffs, and that really helped us. Um, but like in the second round, I played we played Tri City. They were number one going into the playoffs, and um, we we beat them in three games. So um, that was huge for our team and in our confidence, everyone's confidence, really. Um, but yeah, obviously when the, when, when the chip's not, not bad and it, it feels good, but it's obviously got to you know, boost your confidence. And just, uh, your decision to go to North Dakota, what, uh, just talk about that and, uh, what do you hope to, uh, to gain there? Uh, what areas of your game are you looking to, to advance there? Yeah. Um, I was pretty young when I made that decision. Um, but you know, when I did, I, I love the coaching staff. You obviously see their history of winning, you know, national championships. You know, that, that was a big key in, in going. Um, their facilities, unreal. Um, but you know, I'm just I'm just gonna go there and and try to really work hard. You know, everyone there is a good player as well. Uh, nothing nothing's given to you there. So um, obviously, go there and try to try to get better every day. Last question, Ted Colfin on Zoom. Hey Dylan, it seemed like you really took a step forward last season. I mean, did something just click, or what do you think? Occurred, like personally, what happened? Um, well, I, I played seven games the year before, so, you know, kind of getting back in that regular season rhythm, I feel like that really helped. And, you know, after Christmas, I feel like I played my best. Um, that, I feel like that was just getting comfortable with, you know, the city, the, 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 the new teammates. I didn't know any of that before and, you know, the coaches and, and what they want out of, you know, out of me. So, uh, I say it was just getting comfortable. Um, and obviously you're getting older, you get stronger. So that, that helped. That season before, was that just like the COVID season or something or? Yeah. Yeah. Our team played like nine games. How tough was that? And then, and then how tough was it? Like you kind of mentioned it like last season coming back from that. Uh, yeah, it was tough. I think I, I quarantined for like 50 days and three different, like three different times, 14 days or whatever. So that was, that was tough. Obviously on and off. Uh, you didn't know if you're going to practice that, that afternoon. So now that that year was pretty tough, um, but coming down to the USHL, I, obviously I was a little nervous. I, I like I said, I didn't play a season, so um, I was nervous. But I feel like I, I played pretty well. Sounds good. Thanks for this. No worries. All right, those are all the questions we had for Dylan. We'll be back shortly with Cross Hannes.